This is um, one of the main reasons why we have this 46% decline. Does anybody recognise that? <laughs> the Celtic tiger. Sorry. <laughs> it's green tiger. Um, so, okay, so what happened in those years about Celtic tiger years? Okay, we got, um, a lot of us got our guttering and fascia board um, replaced. So, if there were any gaps between our guttering and fascia board and the, the stonework of our, of our houses, they were gone. Um, and also we were demolishing buildings and renovating buildings. So a lot of swift nest sites were inadvertently lost. You know, I think people, a lot of people just don't realise um, that there are swifts. This building is an example of that problem. Um, there are reports that this building had swifts nesting in it, but we've been down here, we don't see swifts down here at all anymore. So what happened to those? So we're looking at uh, yeah, 30, 173 pairs in, in the county. There may be more than that, but we don't think there's many more than 200. Um, am I okay for time, Pip? Yeah. Um, so this is the Westport situation. You've only got five known breeding sites in the town. And so that's a little bit scary because one of those sites is really, really important. And if you lost that site, you'd have a bit of a, a problem um, or the Swift would have a problem um, on their hands. Probably 28 pairs in the town. And this is your main um, building. And it's the convent, yeah, on the, you know, the, the little traffic island. Do you, everybody recognise where that is? Yeah. Okay. So the good news is that um, this building is owned by the county council or the town council. And they know that the Swifts are in there. And they have been extremely, extremely supportive of Swift conservation. And they have um, said that they will not do anything to this building, and it does obviously need some work doing to it. And you could re-roof it, and you could do work, but you just need to be aware that you still need to leave those little holes for the Swifts. So they can, So when they do need to do work on that, when they do, they'll they'll um, consult with us, and we'll work something out together so we don't lose the Swifts in that building. On top of that, you know the, the stone building behind that they're going to um, renovate for the council offices? They've said they'll put nest boxes there. No, they won't get, the, these swifts won't move, but any um, new breeders could be attracted to that other building and it just takes the pressure off this convent building. Um, so here we have the other locations. I'm not showing you one because it's a private house. Um, but I'll show you blouses, another pub, they like the pubs. So <laughs> this is blouses here, and they've got, uh, you, actually Wendy did, uh, did viewing there. And there's, quite, there's possibly more than uh, the five, um, but there's definitely five pairs in there. Um, the railway hotel, there's one little hole and a swift is found. So what found that little hole there. This building's a bit worrying. Um, this building's for sale. You know, it's done by the um, the uh, Mount. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's a bit there, North Mount. The old old bank. Anyway, this is for sale. You see, and it is in very bad repair. So whoever bought it, you know, they they wouldn't really be under any obligation to keep those swifts. But it would be nice if they did do it in a way, or even if they put up nest boxes or whatever. Um, I've not finished with Westport, I'll come back to Westport in a, in a short while. <coughs> but just to say this is such an important part of swift conservation, which is to secure the traditional sites. And so the convent, we seem to be okay then. You know, they, they should be safe, even if they have to renovate that building. This looks um, all to be installed at a, really over three, three metres it is really your lowest and, and up, can you see this is on the edge of a playground this is on the edge of some open ground 
these at the linen hall, although it's an alleyway, they can actually sweep right out. So they do need a clear, clear access from the nest box. So this is something you need to be really proud of for Westport. You have got the first built-in nest boxes in the Republic of Ireland. <laughs> and this is all thanks to Simon Wall, who took on board what we were saying and said, um, you know, we're doing the, the town hall, we've got blouses next door, so we can build them in. So I don't know if you can see the bottom picture here. Okay, this is from a distance. So you're looking from the car park where the boxing club is. Mm -hmm. These are the Schwegler boxes being built in. You know, they're being built in staggered so that when a swift approaches that you don't have a collision going on. You don't want holes above each other. They need to be slightly staggered. So you've got them here. So there are four triple cavity nest boxes built into that building. So they will be there for the length of time that that building is there. So, I'm so it's so exciting. Um, and because you've got Swifts in Westport, there'll be young Swifts looking for a place. This, uh, you know this roof here? There's a kind of space that you can walk onto behind it so we'll be able to set up the, the calls, the attraction calls. So I'm very hopeful that we'll get Swifts in there um, looking at them at least this year. So as I've said, raising awareness is really, really important. 